with eye on Iran, Israel tests missile defense system. Israel's defense ministry said Tuesday it successfully conducted a series of live fire drills with its multi-range missile defense system, providing protection against threats posed by arch enemy Iran and its proxies along Israel's northern and southern borders. Defense officials said it was the first time they have conducted an integrated test bringing together the various components. They are the arrow, which intercepts long-range missiles, David Sling, meant to shoot down medium-range missiles, and the Iron Dome, which has been used for years to defend against incoming rocket fire from the Gaza Strip. Moshe Patel, head of Israel's Middle Defense Organization, said the drill demonstrated a multi-layered approach to dealing with threats that incorporates all three systems. Using this approach, a variety of threats may be identified and intercepted via full coordination and interoperability between the systems, he said. Israel faces a wide range of rocket and missile threats from Palestinian militants in Gaza, from the Iranian-backed Shiite militant group Hezbollah in neighboring Lebanon, and from Iran. Officials have expressed concerns about Iran's development of long-range weapons and what they say are Hezbollah attempts to import or develop guided missiles capable of striking virtually anywhere in Israel with great precision. Israel has developed the various missile defenses in conjunction with the United States. Tuesday's drill was conducted with the U.S. Missile Defense Agency, officials said. The test was conducted over the Mediterranean Sea and tested the system's capability to intercept a range of aerial targets from drones to larger and longer-range ballistic missiles. Pini Youngman, head of the Air and Missile Defense Division at state-owned Israeli defense contractor Rafael, said the results were magnificent and all the targets were destroyed in all the tests, and no threat, no target remained in the air after the interception. Patel said it was too early to begin selling these weapons systems to Israel's new allies in the Middle East, the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain. This is something that can be considered potentially in